Heyo, uh, we are live. Welcome back. We have been gone for a while. I hope you kind of remember who we are. We are Firing Range, a podcast to talk about. I don't even have the thing in front of me, the D2 sandbox, everything about the game. And uh, yeah, we've been kind of MIA for a while, haven't we, boys? It was a little bit of uh, busy crafting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we've hit an interesting situation. I mean, not too long ago, I think we were at the point with the game where it was like, and this is going to happen to any game, especially any live service game that has been living for a while. Uh, just like, yeah, we don't really have a lot to talk about. Uh, I literally can't even remember. It's been well over a month, like two, three, maybe. Like, it's been a little while, right? I think we took a hiatus even before the state of the game uh, thing came out and then that was kind of like not rolled back but addendum to the state of the game we and then guardian con happened and, yeah uh -huh. or gcx whatever GCX, it's called sure and then the new season we're like all right and we gotta wait season. for the raid we yeah gotta... yeah crota raid and the crafting oh god <laughs> then checkmate so it's and just checkmate. like it kept piling on and yeah. we got perfectionist syndrome and now we're just gonna make an episode yeah, the the PvP strike team. Do we want to cover the PvP strike team real quick? I like we haven't talked about that since uh, they announced they were going to do it. Is that worth covering? Probably. Probably. Sure, I'll sure. give a quick rundown. Um, so if you haven't heard us talk in a while, and if you haven't really been tuned into the news surrounding Destiny or Bungie or whatever, while back, Joe Blackburn, old Joey B. Uh, put out a state of the game article for D2, which they do every year. And I wouldn't say that the community reaction was super good. For some things, there was an okay reaction. Uh, for other things, people were like, nah, nah, saying it. Uh, people just didn't hear. Did you boys hear anything in that original state of the game article that you were on the PvP side of the fence that you were thrilled about in any kind of way, shape, form? It left me with a lot of bad question marks. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yep. I would say so. So that kind of happened. And um, I went to, we all, well, some of us went to Guardian Con. Me and Cammy went to Guardian Con. Yeah, that's correct. I made up the memory of Drew and Cool Guy there in my head. Uh, so Cammy and I went to Guardian Con. And Cammy, I don't know about you, but when I talked to a bunch of people, you know, meet and greet at the bar, or whatever, it was like, what do you think about the state of the game and they were like Psh, like it just the the wind had kind of been taken out of the sails yeah, a little bit, yeah right? they'd be at the bar ordering i'm like so what'd you think of that state of the game yeah they look back at the bar <laughs> make that a double actually yeah. like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> tells me everything <laughs> uh yeah that's kind of it so um i guess well i'll give them credit because they pivoted i guess because they heard all the feedback there were people from bungie at gcx uh, cosmo was there and it wasn't all happy, fun, like, let's have drinks at the bar. Yeah, Cosmo was taking notes and walking around and uh, asking people for their feedback and yada yada. And then a couple days later, Joe Blackburn puts out a live, or not a live, a YouTube reaction video, kind of, where he's making an addendum to the state of the game. And he's talking about a bunch of upcoming changes to PvP. They're putting out a, quote, strike team, where there's a portion of the company dedicated to spending significant amount of time and effort, I guess, to improve one particular area of the game. And it's probably going to happen over time. They did announce the inevitable creation of a map pack, I think was one of the things that they announced. Again, this is kind of old news now, but like we haven't been live in a while. Uh, general thoughts about that in general. Any, anything about that at all? Before? The entire like concept of a strike team was something I almost expected to be there from the beginning and was surprised it was even brought up. But that being said, just glad it's there finally. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, what we need to understand community-wise, right? Uh, PvE, PvP, just community-wise, um, it, it hit a lot of people sour, and a lot of people talked out against it. So, I mean, think about it. There's a lot of backlash, uh, not just PvP players. Um, you know, so essentially what that True. did, that voice got them into a room, they sat down, and they went to different teams, we need to make this happen, and they did, or they're going to. So, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when they say, oh, Bungie doesn't listen, they do, man, they do. Um, 
and your your feedback does get listened to. Obviously, this is a perfect example. So I'm really glad they they, they needed to do it because yeah, it was it's just been slowly rotting, right? So yeah, and um yeah, the we've already dare I say dare dare uh we've been kind of maybe moving in an interesting direction. We're going to be jumping around a little bit tonight, uh, guys and gals and non-binary pals. Uh, one thing I think that they gave was, was kind of like, maybe a, maybe not a love letter, maybe a, maybe like a, a classroom note. Do you like me? Checkbox. Yes, no. Uh, Bungie gave us a new game type called Checkmate. And I've really been wanting to talk to you boys about this. Uh, I've only played a couple games. I've been super, super busy because I'm prepping for my first vacation in like two years, which is coming up this weekend. So I'm prepping content for, you know, while I'm gone. Uh, Checkmate is dope. Do you guys like Checkmate? I'm super down with this game type. Oh, yeah. I love it. Dude, what's there? Yeah, I love Dude, it. I love they it. made the necessary, like, it was well thought out because yeah. when you think of a game mode like that, you think, oh, Jade Rabbit beat. <laughs> right <For> or <laughs> momentum control at home or something right like so that. Yeah, but yeah. like they they purposefully brought stuff down and brought some stuff up that <laughs> maybe are a little too like we could all agree it's it's hand can in the game mode, it's right? literally hand can in the game mode yeah yeah so which i'm it, okay it, with but i understand uh, how people would not be okay with if you don't have 90 aim assist you need to get out <laughs> yeah. right it's pure skill over here <laughs> so um you know, and, and what, what's nice in its infancy here, they did a really good job. Like the yeah. abilities, the, the the abilities toned down. You can really feel that. Like not every single fight, you're getting a barricade popped or a dodge or a, or somebody's gonna pop their healing rough. Like it happens what three times a game, four times a game. It's rare, and uh, yeah, you're not gonna get cross map vooped. You're not gonna get like shotgunned right at the gate. You're not gonna like. It's just people engaging in primary gunfights. You have people hard scoping, but not with snipers or anything like that. I'm not going to get cloud struck nine times. It's uh, it's oh, interesting. Man. It is really, really interesting. I uh, from my POV, it might as well be Destiny Three. It's just a new <laughs> sandbox to explore. A lot of new combinations of. of the same things, but new combinations, new fun. I mean, can we imagine if they push that out on trials a weekend? Wow, be for, that would be so down for checkmate yeah, trials. I'd be, I'd be really, really, really down. Right, down. and I'll with, be with, with so Carlson, down. like, yeah, <laughs> I'd be in there. What, what's, what's crazy, dude, is I don't think that that's going to be opposed. Like they say, you know, uh, we're going to try, you know, this uh, check right here in trial. You know, I think everybody's going to be on board. I really do. I really do. I feel like the majority of people who already spend a fair amount of time in trials would be down for that. Anyone who would be a detractor of that, I'd have to imagine probably maybe, I could be wrong, might not spend a ton of time in trials to begin with, but I would be down. It's been a really fun game type. Again, I would like to talk to people who maybe, actually, I think Drew, I've been glancing. I know that Drew's had some some feedback and thoughts giving me that look um <laughs> i want to talk to people who maybe don't play a ton of hand cannon m and k and stuff like that maybe other things like how they feel about it because believe it or not non-hand cannon users you know they we we value their feedback too right they're they're people just like you and me they put their pants on one leg at a time i'm sure uh, Drew... Unfortunately, my uh, <laughs> highest kill archetype is still hand cannon, so I'm still. And what you do? Yeah. What, what you do is you get a Damn. high aim assist hand cannon, and then you equip it a controller, right? Classic. Put this controller so on. First, first, we gotta get Drew yeah. to use a primary, Last word. like take off the double special. Uh, yeah. no, I, I mean these days, I don't, I don't prefer to use. I don't know. I well, not that I don't prefer to use. I love not forgotten. I'll, I'll love that forever. But and last word. But I don't get as much fun or satisfaction from using hand cannons, so I do not use them as often. That's crazy. Um, the battler is pretty good, though. I'm not gonna lie; it's a it's it's pretty solid in that mode. Um, is the TTK know, much different me, uh, than normal battler TTK? It's it's optimal is the same, but it takes I think like eight crit one body or nine crit i don't oh, wow, know for okay. certain it takes the it still takes the full so they three burst, so they demand right? protection. yeah the full full okay. three bursts got yeah, it okay like, a, a little bit more demand on precision yeah okay so um potential still there pretty good 
I'm not going to lie. I think it's solid. Cool. Uh, I mean, my biggest, I, I think my biggest gripe towards the game right now is like, I, I love, I think fundamentally they've, they've, they have a, a winning formula, I think. Yeah. And it feels like to have that out of the gate is like really promising. And the way that I feel about the mode is just like, it's going to be just small tweaks, just like a little bit of weapon balancing here, tweaks here and there. I think the, the, the general formula though for the mode is it's it's a it's a women, winning formula. I love the special ammo economy. That's I think good. it's f like fantastic. I enjoy it a lot more than I thought I would. Um, not in terms of like scarcity of special ammo, but the way that it works over the course of the game. I really appreciate it. It's really really fun. I think it keeps uh, it, like it has like it's like a real economy. It's like there's like phases of the game, and I think it keeps it exciting uh, throughout different you know phases of the game. And there's a lot more decision making to to be done with the special ammo. Um, but yeah, I guess to get to the point, like my, I guess if I had to choose my biggest gripe outside of the terribly obvious outliers, like bows and fighting lion, mm. I'd say um, it's not that I don't want hand cannons to be usable. It's just there's a there's a really tough problem to solve with this game mode where hand cannons are but like they they've done this thing where the more niche weapons have to utilize their natural like uh, range to excel and the attributes that they get within that like scouts are better at range there's something about the safety of range and obviously we know about how like sweet spots work and everything with the cones that like they're gonna have uh, better aim assist and like other attributes sure just like smgs are gonna be easier on average i'd say than a hand cannon at that really really close range mm -hmm. so these niche weapons have to rely more on their attributes within those ranges rather than the time to kill. But the problem is, is that means hand cannons, the time to kill is just like, as we all kind of noted, is just kind of better. <laughs> it's just like, you know, 140s and 120s just become these weapons that, you know, require less time on target, deal better damage and a competitive time to kill. So it's like, there's this weird problem that, that arises where I feel like on one hand, one thing was solved, but I mean, how do we make sure that other weapons are viable besides hand cannons? Sure. Admittedly, through my playtime, sure. I think that, like, it hasn't been as bad as I would have expected, but it's CBMM right now. I have the hunch that as soon as it goes SBMM and I face people that are guaranteed to be as good or better than me, it, I'm probably going to get ran. You're going to have to cowboy <laughs> like, up with that <laughs> hand cannon. Yeah, like, I just think that <laughs> yeah. I'm just, yeah, just going to struggle to keep up. Uh, it's an interesting situation. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm the the rational analytical person inside me is like, yes, Drew. All weapon archetypes should be. Let's raise the tide for all boats in this fun community ocean that we have. And then the other part of my brain is like, don't change anything, hand cannons, baby. Woo! <laughs> Just, so uh, I mean, <laughs> really enjoying it. I, I would say that hand cannons are some of the most enjoyable shooting experiences in the game. Yeah, I would, agree, I would agree. I would agree. Right? I mean, you know, that that's subjective. Daring right? today, but, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, it, it 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 is a little bit subjective, though. Like, as far For as best sure. feeling, right? Mm -hmm. um, like, yeah, I'm reading it right here in Twitch chat. I hate hand cannons. I don't go in there, right? So, I mean, it's not act like... So, they, they TTK shifted a lot of things, but they made these 140s, man. They made them achieve their TTK. Hmm. Uh, what, 77 per crit or something like that? Um, I don't know. Like, that space, because, like, they did this whole rework in the mid-range, but that space, dominantly owned by 140 hand cannons. Like, uh, the 120 is still three-tap, but so do the 140s. The ARs take, uh, I think, two bullets extra, like a 450 AR. Um, so, like, everything's approaching that... 0.9 and above while these are at 0.8 so it's weird it, it depends on on how bungie wants this mode to play like do they right. truly want it to be a uh like a primary dueling experience or do they want it to be hand cannon the game mode right and it's funny because like if anything happens to hand cannons i think a lot of people are gonna be upset because <laughs> yeah they I, would, I would agree Dude, because <laughs> yeah from, from from day one when the maverick seven you know like the, the common green from uh, Destiny One, mm -hmm. and then like Amago Loop, it goes all the way down. Like, like I think that there's a hundred. Well, 
there's like 130 140 total hand cannons in the game that are legendary and exotic dude so it's the most like it, it, it's what the people want right so if they were to change anything it's directly looking at that right it's painfully obvious like if there was a trials report it would be all 180 or 140s dude right yeah Here's a so, here's I an think interesting. One twenties are still very valuable with the forty meter. Yeah, one twenties are one twenties are great. There's some maps where one twenty commands it, and there's nothing yes. you can do about it. You mm. bring one, or you don't play. Like probably mid town, I, mean, I felt that way a little bit. I just. I think that so like, big. sorry, fault. No, it's okay. Please go ahead, Drew. I think that like like with with what cool uh, cool guys said. They brought up some of the other weapons, and I find that everything's more balanced around a mid-range TTK. Like, mid-range weapons are the emphasis of the mode. Like, even though I'm not using a hand cannon, BXR Battler, honestly, it's hell of a gun. It's still pretty good because it follows that mid-range TTK. It's around that 0.9 mark. And that's what they seem like they're trying to balance the TTK around, is that, like, 0.9 mark generally. Even the SMGs, I think. I think the 600 SMGs are, like, a 0.9 um, if I'm not mistaken, I think I went through and calculated that today. But anyways, the the weird issue with that, though, is like when you take an SMG that has a 0.9, right? And you have a 140 hand cannon with roughly a 0 0.9, 0 0.87. Um, the hand cannon requires less time on target, has more, more burst damage and more versatility. And then the SMG is more niche and requires more time on target and lands more shots there's an ease of use difference factor there which can be debated either which way i'm going to give it to smgs being a little easier to use in my opinion but like how do you like determine if that's balanced or not is well oh, go ahead i was just gonna it's just really tricky just because of how the game type lives right it's just like there's now, depending on which is what I want to ask you guys, what Bungie decides to do with the future of this very interesting side game type that we have. Uh, think about your answer to that question. Uh, so, how is Bungie, like, so now they have two different things. Like, because if they want to keep Checkmate a thing, and I think they should, because the PvP community, uh, all the feedback I've heard from people who are diehard PvP players are, they really enjoy this. They want more Checkmate. Uh, so if Bungie decides to not only keep it around, but maybe give it more room to play in how does like the balancing becomes trickier because then it's almost like you have two games to balance right because every time you bring a new gun into the game okay we got to balance it for pve we got to balance it for pvp and we got to balance it for checkmate too you know what i mean like it's it's like a little one of those russian dolls with the like they're and they just keep going inside you know what i mean like it's just an interesting situation so i'm just gonna i'm gonna kind of piggyback off what drew said like that point nine and we'll say to one is perfect 0.9 to one because it like it, it really makes you think like they really thought of everything because vanilla destiny was an average 1.3 ttk right so it was a 1.3 nowadays it's a 0.8 mm -hmm. and checkmate is this 0.91 so it's like right in between so it's not like super slow like early d1 not super fast and ability spam like regular d2 it's a sweet spot it requires you to track a little bit longer, hit a little bit more headshot. Like, and mm. I think that that's a good thing, right? So I think Drew nails it, but between the 0.9 and one is where it should be. Like, just forget what you know about Destiny. Think about combat space, engagement space, and hitting that TTK with an ease of use. Like an auto rifle might take an extra couple bullets, but they can hit a couple body shots, right? Uh, but yeah. they're still tracking for as long. So I, I think it's a really good deal really good deal that they have going on what do you guys think should checkmate have a future pretty sure i know the answer to that question already um but what should that future be should bungie keep it as just a occasional side game type should it be a permanent game type should it go even further should checkmate be tied somehow into comp or something like what do you what is your level of what is the future of what checkmate should be It'd be really telling if they did a vote. That would Checkpoint. be a very yep. bold, very, I think very everybody, bold decision. Everybody would be surprised at the results of that type yeah. of vote because I look at my comment section on a checkmate video and it is polarizing. 
Really? Okay. Not that Tell I me expected about that. it not to be, but it really is. It's just you get a comment that's like, I lo love this mode. It's everything I ever wanted from Destiny. And then the mm -hmm. next comment is, this mode is unplayable. It's not what Destiny is supposed <laughs> to be. I could see people reacting that way because a lot of people have been pulled into the game because it's so different from other FPS multiplayer games or, you know, co-op, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's just like a lot of very unique abilities and the guns are unique and f mm -hmm. like a lot of them are very quirky and fun and they behave very differently than guns and other games do. Uh, the space magic fantasy is literally a big part of it for some people. So I would imagine how, even though as much as I do enjoy the game type, I can understand that some people might not want that to be the norm because they got into the world of destiny for the fun ability shenanigans and whatnot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. I was totally planning to just change the trajectory of my uh, YouTube channel on Checkmate. If it was just a smash hit, I was just going to say, all right, the rest of the game doesn't exist. Making content on this. But <laughs> there is a charm to vanilla where you can have these like Dr. Doofenshmirtz level of complex builds and just yeah. do a cool clip. And that's that was worth dying 2,000 times to hit it once. So I see some validity in that. Drew or cool guy, what do you think in your perfect world? What is, what does the future of Checkmate look like? Do you think? I think. Well, <laughs> let's talk abilities first. Like, like even like because I tested the scalers. The scalers are so slow, dude. Like if you do a benevolence or you do a frosty or you do a um oh the even ability. like a, even like a demo. Like all the scalers are slowed way, way, way down. Dude. So I think that that's good. I think that's good. Um. They're just going to have to see what they want the mode to be, right? It, and I think I still agree with Drew, the 0.9 to 1. So it should definitely stick around. Like, you know, this whole Crucible Labs know that we've had for about five years that sometimes it has something. Sometimes we forget <laughs> about it for three years. Sometimes it has mm -hmm. something. Like, yeah. This is something that should rotate in quite a bit. Hopefully, quite a bit. Yeah, I got to say, they haven't really been experimental in Crucible Labs over the years. They're like, the control playlist is on the right. Then we have Crucible Labs on the left. It's control, but Shaxx talks less. I'm like, what? It's the same thing. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, if you're in our Twitch chat right now, or if you're listening to the podcast later, share your feedback wherever you feel comfortable, Twitter, whatever. Uh, what are your feelings on Checkmate? Uh, any additional thoughts on Checkmate before we possibly move on to a different... Andrew has something to say. It is true. Um what i would like the mode to be in the future uh honestly i'm not gonna lie after playing checkmate i have very little desire to be anywhere near the vanilla game um be, be near know. original like, okay. you're you don't want to go back to original uh or like you know no he's saying vanilla current, like what we currently are playing right okay currently playing yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so you, you only want to vanilla, play checkmate like, is what you're saying i only want to play checkmate yeah uh for, for the vast majority the, the only thing that'll stop me from that is like i guess at this moment it's i hate to say this way but it's like hand <laughs> cannons if they were to be as like strong as i anticipate but that's just another discussion mm -hmm. generally in terms of like again i think this is a winning formula i enjoy it more than like tenfold more than the current iteration of destiny 2 I can play Checkmate and not look back. I'd love it if this was the entire PvP experience, although I know that is not going to bode well for some. <laughs> right. So for me, I would love it if that if you know there was a at least a dedicated node. If it could be it's a modifier, so if it could be the competitive standard settings, that would be a dream. That'd be enough for me. Wow. Um, that being said, I think the thing that the number one thing that blocks me that would block me from fully enjoying the mode is, again, just it's got to be the weapon sandbox. I feel like in current iteration Destiny right now, I think there's a better fighting chance to compete with like or have. I, I think it's more competitive between all the weapon types. Um, then it maybe might be in checkmate, but I'm not sure. Like, like I'm I'm hesitant to commit to that phrase because it's CBMM. I'm looking forward to facing some like really good players 
that I know are like better than me or as good as me to see how it really like plays out. But um, I feel like what's important for me in Destiny is as much as I enjoy the competitive aspect or like balance, I need to be able to feel like I can compete with things that I enjoy to a decent degree. Good answer. Okay. Uh, good stuff. Yeah. If you have, I, I feel like if you have strong opinions on checkmate then hit us up, let us know how you feel. Apparently it's an interesting discussion topic for a lot of people. I would love it if it were to stay around as a permanent PVP note. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, gosh, we have so much on the table. Uh, we could talk about, how about you boys pick between changes to zoom we have crafting weekend god help us uh we've got new season stuff we could also talk about the recent uh announcements to nerfing certain things which is coming in the mid-season patch i think oh, true. The... yeah I, I like the zoom option because it kind of goes hand in hand with what we're talking about is maybe a pain point for checkmate which okay. is the first pass in like how maybe 120 hand cannons ended up so we're talking when I play competitive, those just dominate in vanilla and they dominate in checkmate. So we're talking about the changes of uh, the changes made from zoom uh, being decoupled from damage fall off and the other changes right. in general to zoom and uh, sort of weapon range stuff. Yeah. So if you didn't know, uh, Bungie changed the sandbox a wee bit since we last talked zoom uh, decoupled from damage fall off, but still tied to aim assist fall off and uh yeah thoughts on that because we've had some time with our hands in the dough since that change immediate hot topic range finder is a perk do you still value it yeah for sure i definitely yeah. do yeah it's still good in in my personal opinion it's if it's gonna even give me that tiny little bit of extra stickiness past the normal point when trying to shoot somebody I'm I'm down, bro. It's um, it's I, I still it's, value it. I think it's strictly gun dependent now. That might be true. Yeah, there could be certain situations where it might not feel as uh, schmexy as it did before. But for a lot of the weapons I use, I'm still really enjoying it. Yeah. Since the yeah, uh, it the, definitely the, isn't an auto pick for a lot of players though, which I think yeah, like, yeah no longer an auto goals. pick. Yeah. I mean, let, let, let's let's live in a world where this change never happened, right? Mm -hmm. Igneous hammer comes back. Rangefinder's in the third. Are you going for it? If if the change has never happened, of if course. The change is ne yeah, of yeah, course. of course you yeah. would. Of course <laughs> yeah. you would. Right. So yeah. that's that's a good thing. That's why they changed that because now so there's more thought perfect. involved. I take keep away over that. Keep away you know is saying? tight yep. because you get that tighter little accuracy and the extra range. That's a, yeah, it's a good I also point, say range finder is still on the menu. Yeah, I, it really does a lot under the hood. I agree. Have you guys felt noticeable differences since the shift in um, all those changes to range, kind of like the intended, you know, range engagement values that Bungie kind of shifted around along with that zoom decouple change in the sandbox not too long ago? Everything but SMGs. Pass, it's great. Every so, uh, wait. What do you mean by everything but SMGs? You, you everything feel like... but SMGs. It's all noticeable. ARs are noticeable. Going from a 450 then to a high impact, that's noticeable. Ah. Going from uh, same thing with uh, the pulse, the pulse rifles, dude. Um, even like a 390 adaptive, right? So like they, they're all playing better. The only thing that's just still there is an SMG, and like they're they they're just still out of band, I think, but. Yeah, I notice yeah. them. SMGs have been a community pain point. I'm trying to think of like what the 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 gold medal is for like longest running community PvP pain points are. Uh, SMGs That's probably a great question, <laughs> isn't I'd it? I'd love yeah. to know that too. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it would probably change depending on who exactly you're talking to. Right. Over shields. Yeah, because people feel differently. I have a personal list of like weapons that when I get killed by, I'm like, damn it! Like I get either annoyed at the meta or annoyed at myself, depending on the thing I get killed by. I, I think bows have got to be the persistent thorn in my side. Monarch would be a top 10. It, even with the change, it's just like, it's a death by a thousand cuts now. Like it's, <laughs> yeah. it's still, yeah, still, still really good. Yeah. 
how long was one eyed mask a problem? That's a good one. Uh, I mean, you could file all of that under health regen because then you could have one eyed mask to a degree. You could have like worm husk to a degree. Anything that would like you're fall under the umbrella of you're shooting someone, you're like, I got him. And like they just kind of get health back and you're like, damn it. <laughs> Phoenix dive. Oh well. Uh, so we also got news not too long ago that Bungie is on the subject of things that people are annoyed by. Uh, Antaeus Wards getting a little tweak a there and also a couple other things, including young Ahamkar Spine. Uh, yeah. How do y'all feel about those changes? Long overdue. I would agree. Right. Better late than never, maybe? They're Here. slippery roads, man. They're all slippery roads. That is true. That is very true. It it effectively really hurt them in PvE and like Let me I'll let you finish that thought. Then I want to jump in real quick. Like if you were to run it and, and you do like the gunpowder Ahamkara um, spine in PvE, dude, mm -hmm. it's one after another after another. It's so fun. <laughs> yeah, like true. one change affects it so much and to this day, dude when they nerfed Memento Mori because of One-Eyed Mask. It's, it's things like that, right? I get it. It's like, yeah. well, you know, can't be. Here's, here's can't, my... Can't have nice things. Here's my, here's my thing about that. It's like, again, I'm not a game dev. I don't know how hard these decisions are to make. I don't know how Actually, hard... Actually, we are game devs. We, we made our own weapons in the craft inning. <laughs> we don't even have to have Bungie on anymore. Get to that in a minute. I'm kidding. I, I, well, well, you're sort of kidding, but... um. Yeah, I don't know how easy these things are to execute. I'm just like, it's probably just really simple, Bungie, just do it. But like, click, click the button. You just click the button. You flip the switch, just bro. Go but, to Japan and watch a scenic <laughs> route. And but you like, be able to make anything. It's really important <laughs> that whenever possible, I would really appreciate it, and I think a lot of people would really appreciate it, to continue to make efforts to keep the PVE and the PvP sandbox separate. Because even though a lot of people are probably like, oh, thank God, like, less trip mine energy on the young Ahamkara. Like, because it can be ridiculous sometimes. Like, I played it in Jav 4 because it's like, that map is like built for young Ahamkara, right? You just get these tags and like, you get like 95% of your grenade energy back for activating it, which is not difficult to do because the radius is like, wow, but like. Well, also so, taking 95% of their health. Right. And now they're burning and it just, it's crazy. So, uh yeah so people might be happy to see that change in the pvp sandbox but i absolutely do not want to rain on the fun of my brethren on the pve side of the fence having fun with whatever the crazy crap they're doing over there with the gunpowder gamble trash like i want them to be able to have their fun too it feels bad and it just kind of like makes weird rifts in the community and we wouldn't like if it were the other way around right like if there were some crazy cool strategy in pve where like suddenly the bxr is like goddamn amazing and bungie's like well we're gonna neuter this and drew's like well i'm gonna become a Yu-Gi-Oh main now so have fun like okay hold we on while we're on that subject <laughs> zoom decoupling brought it back to 20 and that is like yes thank you i'll take whatever pain points this has while everything else gets ironed out thank you i can play halo again yeah dude those teams that's the have only done a lot feedback i have to yeah. that zoom decoupling it's just like oh, i got 20 back I don't that's really just care about the, the end of drew's feedback right there <laughs> <laughs> got it thanks but like again we wouldn't like it as pvp lovers on the other side of the fence if there was some kind of change a much needed change there before. that would hurt us i'm sure it i has. don't remember though I'm i don't sure remember what i was mad about yeah, I'm I'm really sure that it has, but like it's just not good. And also, I just don't like it when there's like finger pointing and it's like, well, shouldn't we all be like a community? But like I cuz I see it on Twitter all the time, right? Like you see the changes to Young Ahamkar and they're like, "Thanks PVP community, bunch of assholes, like they have to ruin all our fun cuz they're crying over there in PVP." It's like, "Why are you mad at us?" <laughs> like we're not the ones if I were, you know, a goddamn wizard able to snap my fingers and make any changes i wanted in the sandbox with you know impunity or whatever i would have kept it separate again i'm not saying it's easy to do there's probably a bungee dev who might be listening to like it's really hard i'm sure it is like it's just can't we have the feedback be like hey bungee we'd really appreciate it if you would continue to make the effort to keep this separate not like one side the pve side attacking the pvp side like each part of the community has pain points Let's not 
focus the crazy weird anger at I each mean, other why don't we like be more direct with our feedback and get on the same page i mean let's just like brainstorm for a second like so let's say if you have ahamkar spine mm. equipped your trip mines deal half damage in what pve or pvp pvp just pvp just pvp they'd still be valuable because of the uptime that is true and the energy back it would be a i'd take it over nothing if that's what you're asking me as opposed I mean, to i no would change argue though. that to go back to our previous discussion i feel like checkmate is a step in that direction you now where like it is yeah it's like further separating pvp and pve it is you know less ability frequency means that it's a in a way a little bit more tolerable for things like that to exist regeneration becomes less of a problem like, i gotta know the, the, check the like topic that... was more somebody had a fun pve build not even like an incredible one but just yeah. a fun pve build that got killed because of pvp balance it's and how it i know it sucks sorry i wish it could be both ways i don't want to backtrack too much but it i i drew is like pinging the check mark uh, uh sorry the checkmate thing in my brain it's a really interesting topic because like depending on how much Bungie wants to lean into checkmate it's like i'm trying to picture what would the craziest change imaginable be i'm not saying i want this but like what would the craziest change imaginable be the craziest change i can think of is that the feedback is so good that Bungie's like we're gonna make not only are we gonna make checkmate permanent but like trials and comp like the quote or maybe just comp like the end game pvp falls permanently under the umbrella of checkmate and if that happens i don't think that will happen but if that ever did happen that would be one of the biggest shifts in the game like that i can remember maybe since the killing of double primary year one van vanilla d2 that would be a monumental shift in the sandbox if they did that that would be amazing it would be crazy. I I don't know how many people would go for it. I don't even know how I feel about it. I'm just thinking like... I feel great about it. The introduction of Checkmate has raised a lot of questions about the future of PvP and what the players want and like what is Destiny PvP supposed to look like? Is it supposed to be a very similar experience to PvE with a lot of shenanigans and ability spam? Which is, again, admittedly, part of why people came in in the first place. Or should it be different? Should it be maybe closer to a somewhat more traditional with like the shenanigans are still there flavors of destiny flavors of destiny like you know highlighted in the background something like that it's just a really the creation of this game type has opened up a lot of paths that like well i'm I mean, very interested to see where that where it goes there's such a broader audience though this period um and this game mode it's something that we've wanted since destiny one like you even go back you hear like remember the old like bungee forums right oh, hey you God. know let's make it no super game mode right <laughs> you know, yeah just, yeah no ability what, game mode yeah what if we just used our primaries Fortnite um, without so, building yeah so yeah yeah so like you know it's something that the 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 ogs have wanted for a long time because like destiny is destiny and it's always going to be destiny and i think it should stay destiny right but if they're gonna if they can segment it and have something like this, I think that we should be really happy with that. Like, I don't think it's going to spread through the entire game. And mm -hmm. honestly, I don't think that it should. Um, but I do think that they can have off weekends of trials or a comp or whatever, or a vote for that dedicated crowd for those game modes and then go from there. But it's a good thing. Yeah. Long term, I could see it in yeah. comp because when you think about it, people go into comp to improve, right? And if your goal is to improve, it's really difficult in the base game because when you watch a VOD back, there's so many situations of just like I couldn't have done anything better. I just I just lose that because of the power spike. In checkmate, you know a lot better what to do next time to avoid that situation. I would love it. I don't so think if they. The theme. I don't think if they would. I doubt they would ever do this. But if I think people would go crazy because the the large portion of people pretty sure if you think if you guys think i'm wrong you tell me i don't want to be out of pocket on this one the people who play comp and the people who enjoy checkmate 
It's like a, it's not a Venn diagram. It's a circle, right? Or it's pretty damn yeah. close to a circle. So Corporate wants you to yeah. <laughs> you find the differences between <laughs> no. these two pictures. Uh, yeah. yeah. So if Bungie was like, we're going to do an experiment and we're going to do checkmate comp. I'm in, dude. Like, I don't play a lot of comp. Um, I just don't. Like, I, I play for loot. And when there's no loot in comp, like when there's rows, I'll play. You know what I mean? Because I want rows. If there's no loot and comp, I'm not going to play comp. It's just that simple. But like if they changed it to checkmate, I might play What's without it? the loot, which is like big. Yep. That's that's kind of crazy to me that I would even think about doing that. But like, yeah, I just enjoy it. And it's, I think it appeals to that portion of the player base who would appreciate seeing less ability spam and, you know, more of what checkmate brings to the table in PvP. Yeah, I mean, what's it gonna do? Kill the game mode? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, all forty of the people so, who play comp will be devastated. I mean, like <laughs> yeah. that's how I look at it, and, you know. And what's nice is like changes can come back, be reverted, yeah. like it never sure. happened. Yeah, make a make a little. Experiment. Yeah, I mean, I sure. kind of hope they be experimental with their yeah. changes that check made, and then we just sure. give the feedback. We're like, yeah, last week sucked. Let's go back to the previous week. Sure. And it just be so that simple. Experimentation, baby. I mean, we do it with Since Iron Banner. Like, we do. What's up, Drew? Since we're giving like super radical, super radical, like hypotheticals. Sure. What I'm if ready the current for game became the side mode? Damn, son. Damn. I feel like that's some dangerous territory, <laughs> and I didn't think so until well, I read my comments. Actually, I'll, like, tell well, damn, I'll tell you why it's dangerous. I'll tell you why it's dangerous. I'll tell you why it's dangerous. Okay, why is it dangerous? I'll tell, I'll, I'll tell okay so I'll before tell you, you answer that, like, okay. you might be able to answer another question. Okay. Which is like and i have an idea of why this might be but let's say like let's pretend that checkmate is in it's like it's in this prime form and there's like we don't have like the the current like hot topics but like let's let's just talk about the formula of what it is special ammo economy the slight ttk shift and let's pretend it's all balanced and great what is preventing that from being pvp like and i'm not saying that like I'm, i want to push that i'm just like genuinely curious like what what is that like what is that thing i know what that is for me but i'm curious for like so wait uh, repeat the question what's the question like, yeah, what, yeah. what what is in the I, like in a, in a world where checkmate is like appropriately balanced just like looking at the formula being the, the slight ddk shift what the special ammo economy what is stopping that like what is the thing stopping that would stop you from saying like that that should be the norm or like why isn't that the norm? I'll thing? tell you talking about how it can be dangerous. I'll tell you. So I'll what is that well. thing? Like, you you go for thing? you go first because I'll I'll phrase it in a different way. But you go first, cool guy. The previous seven years, why that can't happen? It's plain it to me. That's, dude. I'm on that wavelength too. Here's I mean, yeah. It's it's an interesting thought experimentation, Drew. Like instead of like because right now it's sort of like we have D two as is. And then we have like a side yard where it's like, all right, you crazy kids, you get in there, the checkmate side yard. And Drew's like, but what if the backyard was checkmate and like an OG became the side yard? Which like, it's an interesting thought. Uh, so when we've talked about trials matchmaking in the past, a very fun, lovely topic, which never yields bad conversation from the community. Fall is pull or not. <laughs> which, which one are we talking Drew's about? Drew's all, all, usually comes to the conclusion of I want what is best for the player base numbers and the best for the strength of the game. Whatever is going to get more people to pick up the game and like kind of like, because then we get more people playing, player numbers are better, more support from Bungie, yada, yada, yada. I think that if we changed it so that Checkmate was the backyard and we gave a little side yard to what it's been for the past seven years, I, the garden. if we give them the OG becomes the garden, I think that the player base would drop i think it would decline i think a lot of people would be like no it's not what i signed up for like i don't play pvp very often but when i do i like it to be silly whatever silly willy and then like i could be wrong i could be very wrong like may if we were in a situation where the, ba the backyard became checkmate and people were like this is dope let's get more of this i'm in dude i'm i'm totally in but like i just i, so I got a great analogy for this yeah so it's part like an experience and, and think of the base game as like junk food. We play all the time. Like we play all day, every day. Yeah. So if you eat that much junk food, you're not going to be feeling good. But <laughs> hour every now and then, bet it's great, right? Sure. And they don't really have the experience to know. Like you go to my comment section. 
some of the polarizing comments will say they'll list like 20 good qualities of a player and then they go all they do in checkmate is that and i'm like that's a good thing that's that's an fps game that, that's all that's they should just... do <laughs> and, but no they just they hate it but just, yeah, yeah so i i asked the question because like isn't the pvp sentiment already terrible hasn't it been terrible for the last how many years didn't bungie Bear in their own interview say we didn't have Bear a team. counterpoint <laughs> we didn't have a strike like, team did, before bro. Themselves, we didn't have a strike team themselves before, the, <laughs> but the, joe uh, joe blackburn i believe mm -hmm. his name is in yep. an interview literally said and like while i think that there is you know some things to think about with this maybe on, on their end but they they've said that they feel like they've struggled to move the needle sure the the sentiment has always been bad. So like if it's okay, I, I there, there comes a point where I ask this question because like I I think to myself like as a part of the community and ask us as a community what are we seeking? What do we want? If it's like, like it's like okay, well this new conceptual mode like let's say formula let's call it is introduced and it's like oh it's really good but I don't know we 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 need that other one. And I'm like okay. Well, what is it about the other one? But it's like, you know, it, hasn't the other one just been we're just complaining rampantly for how many years? Do we want to complain? Is that what it is? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe. Like, that's well, why I asked. Well, Maybe. Drew, like, I think it. So, I think a little bit of it's like the pedigree, but not like the one that we think of. Because when Destiny One first came out, we thought, oh, Bungie, bro, Halo, right? It's gonna be good. And then it turned into something just wild, right? And we had the time of our lives, dude. Even like. Like we look back, like uh, but like self res warlocks, jug shield titans, like it was mm. wild back there, dude. Uh, the original Hawk Moon, right? Just different, yeah, right? Different. Then we had Destiny Two, and they tried to go back to Halo, what we thought they would do in the first place. Like, no, this isn't Destiny, right? So then they switched it, and now we're at this point, and we're trying to go back a little bit. But in the end, like the pedigree that we're really talking about now, it's been so long. It's what they did in, in D1, just like that fun space magic first person shooter, dude. And like that that's why even though like I think it would be great if they started off with something like this and it was this good in the very beginning, we would be having this conversation. But that like, is true. Yeah. Destiny's unlike anything but, I've ever played. That's why like I think we're that, all that's here. That's such a weird thing to think of though, because <laughs> if it was this good, like you know what I mean? Like would do we like bad? Like is that <laughs> do, like, do, like, let you me, know what I mean? Like it, it's puzzling. Let me let me jump in, Drew. Um I'm, like, like I'm going to say like, I'm not I'm neither here nor there on the argument. I'm just saying for discussion. Sake, just for this. To I, I totally get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I'm with you in the sense that at this point, like we're pretty far in the lifespan of the Destiny franchise as a whole. PvP sentiment has been all over the map uh, for, you know, years back and forth, yada, yada. This is a very interesting shakeup to the point where a lot of people are really excited about it. There's paths that are now appearing on the floor i am down for experimentation i don't think it's going to happen to the wildest degrees of our imagination but i'm down i doubt it either yeah i doubt it but if but if bungie wants to keep going down this road of experimentation as long as the player base numbers don't suffer i am down i think that if we start to make extreme changes and like people are leaving in droves again i don't think that would happen but like that i would not be down for i would prefer to have a big strong community rather than like a sinking empty ship but like you know but wild changes are happening in pvp finally like i, I don't know some people could could disagree with me i just um i'm down for experimentation uh i just don't want to completely cannibalize or nuke the community uh yeah well dude a Does lot of people sense? stop a lot of people stop playing because of the non um i mean the the mode for the past three and a half years was again it's been rotting right it Sorry, lost yeah. a lot of people so yeah. when we say experiment i mean like we we did get we are at a point where literally anything is a good thing at this point like if we want to change modes if we want to try this we would try that essentially it's new content for us because destiny with how they set it up with this new mode plays completely different than what we've played for the past three years right yeah, so, yeah. I say experiment away. Experiment away, baby. 
Yeah. I like the compromise idea of eventually adding it in like comp or trials since those are supposed yeah. to be the competitive modes. That just makes the most sense to me for meeting somewhere in the middle. And if they really wanted to go crazy with it, maybe we get Bife on the phone, figure out the lore, but they could have a <laughs> limited ban list where, you know, like Lucky Pants is a illegally modded holster, Crimson, a banned weapon. Sure. Yeah, if they come out sure. with something new crazy in PvE and don't want it to affect Checkmate, just don't allow you to queue in with Checkmate. I, I get Bye. that. Analyze. Is there a thing though about the the mode itself for you guys that would be like no, I I would rather play vanilla. Uh, we're in the infancy though. Drew. For you like, personally, you, like, like, what, like you said, you know, like we're the we're just in the beginning stages. Like, imagine it is hard yeah. based SBMM, dude. I, I guarantee you, if I go in with friends, we're all just team shotting with one twenties. That's that's what's gonna happen, oh, I agree. and like no. that's our oh, game mode now, right? So like entirely. It will shift like thoughts on the game mode. It's just a, mm -hmm. like of what they could do. And I, I saw uh, someone talk about it, and we, you know, like maybe a middle ground in the in the base game of reducing abilities. And we talked about the we've always, we always talk about the thirtieth. We always talk about Forsaken, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of the bigger high points in the in the PvP space. Um, and there's a reason why those things work. Because again, they haven't had anything for the past three years. Like things get so out of hand that there's like Shatter Dive when it came out, dude, mm. and like it goes on for a year, and then and then like they'll they'll hit weird things and like Controverse Hold had its time, right? So as long as now they got somebody with eyes on it, I'm 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 now feeling a lot better about it. So fair. I've always liked the core Destiny experience, though. To come back, to what you're saying, Andrew, like. The abilities, like, yeah, some are annoying, right? And those should constantly be touched, but I, I, that's what I've always liked about it. Um, and in that new mode, they are slowed way, way down, which is fine. That's why it should stay there, right? It's essentially a non-ability mode, right? So I think it's all good. Like, future's good. Uh, I was just wondering because, like, it's like my example of that, that, that thing that would stop it for me from being, like, the mode would be like a less or a more restrictive sandbox a more biased sandbox that's what it would be for me it's like i wouldn't be able to want to play checkmate all the time 24 7 if it meant that i am just so far behind if i'm not using a hand cannon that's what that if there were such a, is for me if there was such or, a difference in power if you're saying like, yeah or okay. okay. that, that, yeah, that would power. that would make sense yeah, yeah, yeah it could be whatever it is whatever that is whatever that is whatever it is it could be no time to explain it could be whatever it could be the bxr and i'll just be the best i'm joking but like it could be yeah as long as there could be anything right super unbalanced that it's like there's one gun that it like just if you don't use it you lose like something like that because then i feel like i'm like okay i don't like this other long list of things about vanilla but like i feel like i'm forcefully relegated into that in my mind to enjoy the things i enjoy above all else sure so that's why i ask i'm just curious i was like you know what is there is there a thing what is that silver bullet that's like That'll stop me. Heard, I Chef. I, th I think it's best we not even talk about it, Drew. It's the biggest <laughs> breath of fresh air we've ever had in, in the It's crucible. true. I mean, I don't, need yeah. to breathe that air. I do. And, like yeah, I said, I love just it. Breathe it, it in. Breathe it in, baby. Feel good about it. Uh, <laughs> I will not play vanilla for as long as it exists. God damn. Uh, between the topics of crafting weekend and new stuff to play with, new guns, new stuff, the deterministic recoil. And I guess the new PvP map. What what topic interests you boys the most? The most here. I almost said the most. Deterministic mm. recoil. Deterministic tithing recoil. Tithing too much or whatever it is. I've been I've been tithing too <laughs> much there. <laughs> That's <laughs> how you pronounce yeah. it. Yeah. Tithing, yes, indeed. Uh, what did you say, cool guy? The deterministic recoil. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, Destiny's has always had like. A chain of recoil like you would start and fire four bullets of your, your mm -hmm. ar it would pick up it would pick back up in somewhat of a different pattern and just do something a little bit different and then kind of loop back around now bullet one to four is going to be bullet one to six going to be bullet one to eight every time that you stop firing same recoil pattern now recoil direction does tighten it still but it's going to have the same pattern 
I was thinking um, that is it, interesting. The now, like, I'm wondering if maybe at the future we can have more of a detailed conversation with somebody at Bungie because I was thinking like, oh, well, yeah, deterministic recoil. Not to cut you off, cool guy. Like how oh, Bungie fine. Bungie wants more predictable recoil on an individual weapon basis so that people can truly like master the weapon that they're you know using us but then like how much does the recoil direction factor into that because the recoil direction is still going to to a degree alter permanently the direction it's going to augment it, but it's not going to be random so more Dude, no, consistently no, no. in that no, in no. that vein think of it like a spinning plate that has one piece of pie taken out right so like no, no, like, listen, check it out. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> or just imagine a plate. We'll start there, right? Sure. And, and like, there's a zigzag on the plate. Like, that recoil drive, it's still doing the zigzag no matter what. It's just shifting on the plate. Does that make sense? It's still going to rotate kind of like a clock. Uh, as, it, as it gets vertical to, to noon. I get what you're saying. Okay. There's got to be an easier way to... They're, that. They're it really perfect musty. sense to me. You're saying that, like, <laughs> yeah, if you were to yeah. draw like a zigzag, a pattern on a plate, you're just shifting which direction how that, it goes. How, exactly. it's, how, yeah. it's, how it's how it's moving to noon. Okay. Yeah. Think, I think I get it. All right. Don't think plate. Think clock. <laughs> it's the same okay. thing, bro. Like I, I thought I, I get I thought what I you're trying to, to visualize here. It's just like is what comes. What's the higher priority? Is the recoil direction the higher priority, or is the deterministic deterministic recoil direction? It depends on the how good priority. the weapon's deterministic recoil pattern is. Because if they make the deterministic pattern up and down, the recoil direction doesn't matter because it's up and down. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's always going to go to the curve though. Like, cause it's like they're going to start it on a on a number, a sixty-five or a seventy or a seventy-two. All right. So it's a seventy-two. It's going to go left a little bit. So the pattern will always go left a little bit like does that make sense like whenever they make the gun okay, yeah, yeah. whenever oh, they make the gun I it has to start on that number and I then see what you're you know, saying. I deterministically see what you're is going to go off of that curve right so Got it. more you get it to 100 the more it goes within back the up. slice of pie on the plate like it's Correct. gonna zigzag okay now i get i get the pie. i get now we're back to the pie i get what you're saying though i get what you're saying man. okay <laughs> I that makes fully sense. understand now okay yeah. <laughs> yeah we're all on the same page uh i think this is a good idea. And also, how goddamn sneaky of Bungie putting this in. I mean, it's something that probably the average player maybe might not give a shit about, right? Like, just this is something that only the people who have cone emojis on Twitch would give a shit about, right? Like, it's been on the wish list for like a decade, and then they just yeah. slipped this to us. It's pretty clever. It's uh, that they did this. Like, it's when I re was reading, I was like, oh, like a lot of things kind of clicked a little bit because like i just remember when that uh what's the what is the gun called the kept confidence, kept confidence. right kept it, yeah, confidence yeah think about destiny man yep it has all the players go oh you got to use it and so gun many people good. are like it feels like they're and they couldn't they put their finger on it, it. They, they just say they, it feels they, good yep it's just like the gun has a feel it feels more consistent i like it it's like looking at it on papers like why does this feel different and i was like oh what's the secret sauce under maybe the hood, you know? that's is it the, the zoom? secret sauce is it, is yeah the aim assist is it, it apparently it's recoil now. it has 91 it has 91 recoil direction right so like it it goes up and to the left just a little bit mm -hmm. and like that's its own recoil pattern and like that that's super cool that they did that it's a big deal moving forward Right into 23 and 24. People raved about that in Destiny 1 for AS Luna. They were like, it's perfect because it goes up and to the left and you can see your target when you're, yeah. you're gunfighting. Yeah. It's um, it's Dude. a change falling under the same umbrella to me as giving shotguns uh, predetermined patterns. There's still RNG of like the centimeter location of each pellet in the pattern spread, but coming up with a here's what the lightweight shotgun pattern is going to look like. Here's what the ag frame shotgun pattern is like more consistent like the the slow elimination to a degree of rng and like allowing players to truly be more masters of an individual weapon and like really take control and like learn the skill to harness what this weapon is offering to you i think it's cool shit it's yeah. cool dude bungie's cooking like <laughs> all cook this back to back to back over the last year or two dude and i think a lot of the innovation and probably going forward is going to be from origin traits, dude. Um, like I like like in PVE, what wildcard brings to the table, curse thrall, <laughs> of course, like it's really shifting our weapons um, because it's got to be tough at this point, man. They've made mm. so many and uh, they still come out with banger perks, dude. 
What's your favorite origin trait, everybody? I feel like this will move into the crafting discussion at some point. Ooh, favorite origin trait. That is oh, a good uh, question. The um, one on the... Skulking Wolf. Skulking Wolf. Drew, I would if have normally nothing said else, Skulking Wolf. you are so I'm, consistent. I might be a Zero Synergy kind of guy. With, I'm very consistent. Drew's very consistent with what he enjoys Zero in PvP. Zero Synergy is second. Zero Synergy is great. Yes. Really love that. Oh, man. Dude, right now I have, because of what we have on the seasonal artifact, I'm going in on like a solar class and I have mm -hmm. triple harmonic unflinching for my igneous hammer. Feels good, boys. <laughs> Feels so before the barricade good. nerf, we used to all run hockey breach armaments and we would try to catch the Titan oh. in the animation of the barricade and we just <laughs> that ripped one the barricade. Favorite, actually. Oh, they man. would be in the animation and there would be no barricade and they'd be like, what the fuck just happened? I'm between Ambush and Omelon Fluid. There's, there's, so there's, many good. there's a lot of good ones. Dude, that Aquilos Reload one is also pretty crazy. There's a lot of good Maybe ones. too good. I even like the like the really the, the ones Aquilos that Reload one is really good. The ones that barely help you even a little bit. I still like those, like Nadir Focus or however it's pronounced. Like just, yeah. they just benefit yeah, you for just probably. using the gun. It's like, yeah, field, I'm, I'm in, field dude. tested. Field yeah, tested, dude. Field it's tested, on, sure. All all the immortals out there. Yeah. Now, I gotta say, Sarah Synergy is the one I'm going for. It's a good one. Uh, crafting good one. unlocked my third eye, man. I just I understand exactly what I need <laughs> in the game. It's it's anti flinch. Uh, I also like uh, the the tracer, the nanotech tracer on the on the round. Oh, nano rockets! Oh, yeah, those, those are fun. Them. Those are really fun, dude. I love my round robin. I, I wish that some of them uh, weren't as niche, like the trials weapons. I mean, that's a very I'm not gonna say prestigious set, but it's an in-game set, right? Especially the adepts. Sure. Um, like Alacrity's there. Alacrity is a crazy perk, but hey, dude, nobody wants to be the last alive, right? Yeah. Oh, it's in yeah. it's in Rumble, man. It's there. SMG <laughs> Titans will yeah, dude, it, it, yeah, it's amazing. But like, when you look at, I mean, the other options for them are one quiet moment. And you're like, okay. Yeah. Fast I fast reload being safe. Uh, I really want more wild card if anyone from bungie is listening to this uh please more wild card i thought it was kind of stupid but like it's a great trait it's dude fun. almost I, so, disappointing wait, what is trait? wild card what's so, wild card is, Lesto, Lesto. Lesto. you you get a headshot oh, kill the bolts. yeah the bolts so in so, pve i was like i was testing in pve is like oh just one comes out i was like well, that's kind of whack like like i'm literally like hoping that this you know vex will walk into my single telesto bolt on the floor i'm like oh, that's kind of corny and then i go into pvp with uh what is that pulse rifle that's a world drop so i'm never gonna get a god roll because yeah, the no, world drops are, it, are so. goddamn garbage uh it has wild card on it and i get the, the headshot the hemorrhoid or something the, like that like psi <laughs> hemorrhoid i uh, you get a headshot kill and in pvp it's three three celesto bolts three of them out. and it's like Dude, there's like a part of me, like I get excited every time I get a kill because like the three come out and it's like if you get it at the right angle or like near a wall or something like it's that. It's three vibes too. Yeah, it, and like it does. And like I've had a lot of situations where I was like, when I first, I was like, I'm never going to get a kill with this in PvP. It helps out more than you think. I've had people yeah. get whittled down to significantly reduce my TTK. I've gotten flat out kills. I've prevented revives. Wildcard is fun. Uh, I want more. It's just, it's on so few weapons in the game. Like, it's, how many is it even on? About eight. There's eight? a lot, dude. It's on the yeah. new Vanguard bow that we can get right yeah, now. Yeah, it's on the new Vanguard bow. It's on the Stasis Fusion, the high impact one. It's on, it's on the high ground sniper. It's on the high Got ground it. sniper. It's on the high impact uh, pulse rifle. It literally is on eight. Yeah, it's yes. like eight or nine. Um, so, the coolest thing about that origin trait is it takes on literally whatever your gun has, right? If you have Encore in the third column and Incandescent in the right column, if that thing gets a kill, you'll go to Encore 1, and it'll also explode them like an Incandescent does. Hey, yo. Yeah. If you have, let's say, um, a Demolitionist, that's why I'm so excited about new weapons. So if you have, like, Demolitionist and, I don't know, Pugilist... Right, so if that little thing gets, it'll give you both grenade energy. So whatever perks you have, both of them and the combination, it does both of them. That's awesome. It, it, like it'll proc rampage, like things like that. So it's kind of sick. Super cool. Okay, my pick for worst has got to be the Tex Mechanica dungeon. 
That one's like I hit fire and you get like faster ADS or something. Yeah. It's backwards. Yeah. It oh, makes you do the wrong backwards. thing first. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of goofy. Yeah, it should have been start ADS and then into hip. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get on Reddit later, boys. <laughs> yeah, let me just iron that one out. Guy. And now <laughs> range them. Yeah. Iron this one out. They'll never see it coming. Uh, actually, it's funny. I was looking at one trait the other day, and I think like the Vanguard ones are good. Period. Just getting a little bit of health, or it matters. Um, yeah, those are fine. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, or, or, or just stun, yeah. right? Sure, sure, sure. God damn, I, I feel like completely off topic. I feel like I might want to get that bow. That uh, I wasn't interested. <laughs> now that I know it has wild oh. card, I'm kind of interested. <laughs> uh, Res Rasputin's arsenal is another crazy one too. On the Which, like, which one? When is you that? break shields. Oh, really? Yeah, that's oh, the one we were talking man. about. That was, that was yeah, that one is really good. Yeah, that one's super the, good, dude. No matter where you are. It's like that's like I've the like, evolution of weapons, man. One. Yeah. Yeah, I've uh, you know, I've been searching for a good 180 hand cannon to use, and I feel like I've been blind to the Aikilos hand cannon, no fault of anyone's but my own, in that it has Focus Fury. And I, I have a, a role, like, I love using Focus Fury, but only when I get to cheat with it. Meaning when I get to reload, alternatively, that doesn't count as reload. So I have a finite impactor uh -huh. that has slideways Slide, and yeah. Focus Fury. Sliding uh -huh. does not reload for Focus Fury. Right, so I just right. play the game until I have Focus Fury. And that's just free. <laughs> and the Aikilos perk does not count as a reload. So the Aikilos hand cannon is actually a demonic 180. Like you that just play the game, yeah. And eventually, what? it turns into it says, "Whoops, I'm not forgotten." And they then have like you're 24 good. shots, right? Something like that. Yeah, like I, yeah, hmm. you just, I mean, and, and what's crazy about Focus Fury is it re, like the headshots you get during Focus Fury refresh Focus Fury, so <laughs> yeah. like you just do it again. So as soon as you get it, like you know, you're kind of cheating it out with the Aikilo trait, requiring literally no attention to anything at all, other than use your primary. You get the Focus Fury, you go on a tear, and then, boom, let's do it I, I again. I feel like that's a future cool it's guy so video good. for the Radiant uh, Frosty build. He really likes that one. Oh, yeah, so I'm maybe ready. you start on Radiant yeah. to build Focus Fury. By the time Radiant goes away, you have Focus Fury, and then you use Focus Fury to extend Focus Fury until you have Radiant again. Uh, challenge accepted. Drew, oh, what, yeah. what weapon were you using with that combo? Focus Fury slide shot, did you say? Uh, finite impact. Finite has it. Is, I think that, that the, uh, is it slide shot yeah, or slide, slide shot or slideways. Slideways. Slide it's it. unobtainable right, 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 though. Right. So Aikilos is your only chance. It is unobtainable. Hmm. If you want a 140 with it, spare rations. The oh, rule no one talks about. Really, slide Focus shot. Theory, slide shot. Wow, that might be a roll worth diving into the vault for. There, checking out the old. That that's like. Everyone was like trying to go for the role comparing it to Rose. I'm like, no, no, Rose is better. No, no. Other than uh, this one role, you can also do it with a uh, Chattering Bone and yep. Autumn Wind. Oh yeah. Oh, that, my friends, is very interesting. It is the ultimate so, tempo. Part. I actually so kind sick. of really dig Autumn so, Wind. I so Focus Fury's super cracked in this new game mode. By the way, I was oh, gonna yeah. say some oh, more demonic Lord. combos yeah, here. Yeah, that's. Kind if you wild. want something riskier, go bottom dollar, empty it on high impact reserves all the way to the bottom and ask your teammate to Lumina buff you, or hell, it's it's a checkmate. Lumina buff yourself. Oh, Cammy, you... around with two tap. Cammy, you so, crazy. Uh, <laughs> well, one thing I noticed, dude, um, before I get to the absolute worst origin trade in the game, um, <laughs> okay. dude, the, 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 the void fragment for the overshields also so strong in that mode, dude. It's like you get into checkmate? a duel, yeah. You, you get into a duel, you get low health, you pop an overshield, and like if they have like an AR, they're taking like an extra two on top of their extra two, right? It's just bad. But the worst origin trait in the game is the new one that we have. Which? Head rush. Head rush. Oh, true. Head yeah, that rush. One doesn't even do anything. That, that one. That's that sucks. When you uncrouch, you get like handling. Well, in theory, if they just tweaked it a little bit, it would be much better. Like, because when I read it, I was like, oh, like you get extra handling when you crouch. And I was like, that sounds great. Meaning, like, oh, I could probably like slide into an activation and like stand up and like, oh, you swatch the shotgun quicker or whatever. It's like, 
No, like I was literally in a private match. I'm like crab walking around. Like you hold crouch for a couple seconds and sometimes it just doesn't work. Like you stand up and nothing happens. It's like, it just doesn't work sometimes. Or like it, it literally it takes so long. Literally to none of in. them have firmly planted. None of them have firmly planted. <laughs> just, that's a missed opportunity. Heresy. It's, it's, a, a, missed opportunity. it's such a missed opportunity, dude. I was so no, disappointed when, when trying to fiddle with it. I'm literally, by the way, when we get off this call, not a joke, I am literally going to craft a chattering bone with Slideways Focus Fury. I'm yeah, not, man. I am not kidding about that. Going into the Enclave. Speaking of the Enclave, do you want to talk about this real quick? Do you Rain want to of Fire also overrides that reload so it doesn't count. Oh, that There's is... There's a few ways. Rain, oh, that is very interesting. Yeah, so if you want to be like really demonic, you get a fusion rifle to proc Radiant, and then you use that Vanguard hand cannon with focus fury and rain of fire air assault just fly around with two taps you you watch your ass cammy this is getting dangerous out here <laughs> all these ways for people why did focus fury explode overnight what's happening <laughs> i love that I'll, perk. like i said it's, it's the ultimate a good it's a good perk. perk it's a good perk yeah. it's like hawkman it's frenzy for patient people <laughs> yeah true yeah, peace Very of true. mind with it's nuts dude Oh my lord. Okay. I may have, yeah, I may have to recraft that as well. You're giving me all these terrible ideas. <laughs> it's really interesting. Uh we have a little bit of time left before we have to go. Do we want to talk about maybe not the negative aspects, because there's a lot of that, but like do you want do you guys want to talk about what you did during the crafting weekend, which was wildly well, different from like wild I like what Drew and Cammy were doing during the crafting weekend is like the most Drew and Cammy thing I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Like everybody out there was like Lamau, infinite mulligan grenade launcher shotgun combo, lol, lol, lol like Amit shotgun. And like I check in on Drew and Cammy and they're like in custom private lobbies, like just like with kind of like how I can only describe as wholesome crafted weapons. No, 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 no. Not wholesome crafted weapons. We were over there trying to make our gun shoot straight, and we're looking at that. We watched the footage frame by frame. We're like, I think we can make it shoot straighter. Let's go back in. Can we, change yeah. perk out? We, can, we can go straighter. Everyone, shotgun grenade launchers us. Whoa, our bullets can go straight. <laughs> I could fire back at my oh, opponent. My like, God. this is wild. Uh, but seriously, I think it was just a, an opportunity to, you know, quench the curiosity of things yes. that we always felt were really on the line for balance and get a taste of was this would this actually be broken or you know is it not so bad so what are some examples that you explored uh By i made my bxr's hip fire better <laughs> see you know <laughs> what just... if it could have been a little bit better. It's just funny. The world's like actually Halo. collided. <laughs> yeah, if the world's actually collided. Didn't you make like two no, different yeah. versions of Not Forgotten? Oh my like, god. Like a slightly hot one and then a, a, a busted one. The <laughs> box breathing um, 180. Uh, yeah, I was going to build up to that one. And the, yeah, the BR was like a lukewarm take. You know, I put Zen Moment on it too, just because I'm like, yeah, screw flinch. <laughs> um,. And honestly, it made it feel a lot better. I'm not going to lie. Like, less flinch is fantastic. And a little bit better hip fire. I really don't think that a little bit better hip fire would have been broken. I think it's fine. I really don't think that was... It didn't feel like... It's TTK wants it, crazy. Like, it would be fine. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think that the... Like, a little... Like, hip fire grip on top of the legacy perk. Like, it didn't feel, like, astoundingly broken. I'm just like, oh, feels cool. Um, what was more in the, I guess, controversial end was a box breathing 180 hand cannon. Uh, that, that does sound interesting. I found that in trials and in 3v3, it was awkward to regularly proc a box breathing. It felt like I was going out of my way to try and do so and as a result <laughs> i was falling behind my team or just being caught with my radar down which was weird so i was like not matching the pace of the game but when i got it to work it was 
pretty good. I think the scariest part of it was like, I don't know, I don't know how it's supposed to work. Apparently this happens on scouts that it's actually on right now. For some reason, sometimes a 180 would deal like 80 damage with the box breathing proc. Sometimes it would deal 100 damage, which mm. is a pretty <laughs> scary difference. It's a big, pretty yeah, large like difference. That's a, right there. Uh, you know, so I think the three tap from a 180 was not what I was scared of. I was like, okay, a lot of the time, if I deal that much damage, or like even 80 to someone, they were backing off. Like I was not really getting like the amount of time where I was really able to get like the the classic three tap off was like not as frequent as you'd think in all honesty. But the scarier part was that my 180 was turning into a bow, essentially. <laughs> it's like, I'm just like, I hold, I, I peek, I deal 100, I back off. I hold, I peek, deal 100, I back off. So that is a point of contention. It's just funny to see that like, the controversial part of that perk for me wasn't like what you think it would be, which was like the the right. three tap. It was like the raw damage output continuously. Felt odd to you. Do you know it's very funny when yeah. you say that, Drew? It's literally like the perk on fusion rifles uh kickstart to me. Where you were saying like you're so focused on trying to like activate box breathing need, that like you're kind of I need falling to slide apart. into this guy i'm literally like I'm, <laughs> I'm using a fusion rifle with a kickstart i'm like i'm like trying to like peak charge i'm like well i should be sprinting right now and then like i was like oh because if i'm not sprinting i'm not getting any value out of the perk and then like i run around the corner into like three hard scopes i'm like damn it like i'm, I'm, I'm so focused on like trying to get value out of kickstart that like i play yeah. almost too differently it, like it's throwing off my rhythm a That's little exactly bit exactly it yeah <laughs> yeah like there was definitely like a learning curve i needed to get used to with it and, and i still think like even till now like box breathing on the on the 180 felt like costly in many ways like you have to think like even when you peek something like you're 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 giving up movement radar and like i guess you know you have to like uh sit ADS, I don't know how to say this, like you lose pace, like you, to activate that means you're not pushing with your team. Sure. So there's times where like, if I were to activate it, it made no difference for me than just pushing with my team without it. And sure. then there's times where like, if you were trying to activate it and someone peeks you, well, you're not activating it anymore because you might as well have just shot at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, like it's effectively the same thing. So it, it was very weird. I, I, I want to say that it has it has potential to be hot, but I I don't think that it was like. I think that it's a little like there, it's not to be feared like not forgotten. It is it is not the flexibility and fear of not forgotten of like, every gunfight can be a three tap. It, it was not that for and me. And then end on a body, right? Yeah. So still requires crit accuracy. Yeah, if they could find a way to put box breathing on a 180 and guarantee that that like back box breathing shot is like 80 damage, I think I honestly think that'd be fine. But hitting 100 damage, that's when I was like, yeah, that, that, that's a little high, you know? Like, yeah. hmm. I mean, oh, radiant man. 120s are 88. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. True. Good way to put it into perspective. I mean, yeah, good point. Good point. Yeah. So my Frankenstein guns were all about hip fire. I tried different variations of that. So I got to compare our vanilla weapons with just free hand grip, non-enhanced hip fire perk, free hand grip, enhanced hip fire perk, and then we get into the Frankenstein guns where I started putting the BXR Battler frame onto enhanced hip fire guns, and it got crazier. I eventually put it on a DMT. So we had the BXR frame on DMT with enhanced hip fire on dmt with the dmt perk which is enhanced hip fire right so that is like the most accurate hip fire gun you can get ever and <laughs> what that fun? it opened up my third eye because <laughs> when you think about it in a gunfight if you're not using a perfectly accurate weapon you don't know what the problem is is it flinch is it bloom is it accuracy is it range is it like so many variables this little experiment removes so many of those variables that i can say the the villain is flinch flinch is what's messing me up and so he's, I'm he's just that wanted right, that answer right back home. He's, be do, he's gonna be do me yeah <laughs> rip the, rip yeah, the, he mask, the off. mask off it was you old man flinch <laughs> i was scaring everybody away from pvp dude it, like i inherently just play so much better when i won when i run 100 res on my 100 dude i it 
for the, for the for the yeah. for the flinch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's dude, really, I it's really I was funny. fed yeah. up, man. <laughs> I was fed up this week in in checkmate because like early on, you have to understand like when when I faced when I played checkmate, we got like we faced some like good ass players. Like people were going in that mode, mm. and I, like we got gunned, and like you know by the hand cannons and everything. And I was like, dude, that's it. Like through the week, I'm like, I don't care if this is a meme. I don't care if I have to play with three recov. I'm putting on ten resilience. I'm 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 crossing my T's. I'm dotting my eyes, making sure that like it's a huge look, difference. I'm gonna have the best, most competitive like chance against the scrap before I like continue formulating this opinion. And I'm not gonna lie, it made a difference, cool guy. Like the the ten ten resilience. Like, I I don't want to play without it. Like it, it it's like. It sounds like so little, like, oh, it's only 1% per tier. Well, it adds up. I'm using yeah. triple unflinching, <laughs> yeah. 10 resilience. It's, yep. remember, it's, it's 100 stability, not a joke. 100 <laughs> stability, like, I have everything I can possibly it's get. It's multiplicative. More on the pile, like, yeah. More. yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? All right, so is this it, is one of those, like, so it, it is worth stacking, right? Yes. People yeah. have told me it's not worth stacking. If it feels good to you, just do it. Like, That's what I said. Yeah, like... That's what I if said. If it's working, I'm gonna do it. Like guys, I don't care on this one. Like I just yeah. I, don't tell me the numbers. I care about how it feels. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this crafting oh, experiment boy. was one of those like matrix pill experiment things. Like take this pill and you will understand perfect hip fire and realize <laughs> flinch is the enemy, or never know it and just think that you are aiming bad. I, I don't know which one I would take, but since I did it, like. I now have to run one build in the game. There's only one build. There's so many fucking fun builds in the game, but if I'm playing to win, there is literally only one, and that is the Cerdarachnid facade. It's the only thing in the game that gives anti-flinch. And it's crazy. I did that one on too. I use I use Lucky Pants with Last Word, right, to improve the accuracy of Last Words. It, it feels good, but you know what feels even better? <laughs> it's just to throw a grapple with Cerdarachnid and not take flinch. It's just better than having an accurate gun. Good lord. Part of that is to do with the popularity of hand cannons, though. Those yeah, flinch you the hardest. Yeah. They surely do. Cerdarachne is wild. I uh This was a this was a good episode back. <laughs> this was this was this felt like a wholesome one. I felt like we had fun stuff to talk about. I enjoyed I enjoyed this. We should do this more often. <laughs> we should do this more often. <laughs> we should have a podcast. <laughs> um I, uh, I we all get together every week. Yeah. You know? Oh we'll man. Stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, we. I mean, as as long as we continue to have stuff to talk about, let's let's keep talking about stuff. And if one more thing, go ahead. One more thing. Okay. We talked about the evolution of the mode, and like I had it written down. It's I saw it right here in, in the chat. Resilience, recovery, and mobility being tied to class ability. Is that something that needs to change? Maybe. Yes. Change Maybe. Yeah. RDS on intellect. Camp suggestion. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Yeah. Uh, we could save that for another time. That might be a fun kickoff discussion. But uh, yeah. Write, write that down in my diary. Write that. Write that down. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, like, like really zoom out here. When I'm loading into competitive, I feel compelled to already be at like nine or ten intellect. Because if I'm not, then they get the first super anyway, right? So right. Uh, yeah. So just to finish finish my thought here, if we got stuff to talk about, we'll come talk about stuff. Maybe if there's a time where we don't have stuff to talk about, maybe we won't come back and have stuff to talk about. But hope we have stuff to talk about because tonight was fun and would like to, you know, continue it until there comes maybe another dry spell. But that's okay. We'll be a little on and off, like your uh, like your love life. Probably speaking to one person in particular out there. It's like, oh, he's talking about me. Uh, we'll go around the table real quick. And uh, the boys can tell y'all at home where you can find us if you want to chat about crafting, checkmate, flinch, anything under the um, under the sun. Uh, Cammy, where can the people find you? Uh, probably the Prophecy Dungeon. Just twitch.tv <laughs> slash Cammy Cakes. Let's go with that one. Uh, how about you, Drew? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Drewski. boy, Cool guy. Cool guy games. Uh, YouTube and Twitter. Beautiful. And I'm Fallout. You can find me at YouTube.com slash Fallout Plays. Same on Twitch and Twitter. Uh, thank you all for joining us. We hope to see you again next time. Take care.
And uh, who are we raiding, by the way? Who's on right now? Give me a uh, give me give me a name. Somebody give me a name. All right, I'll look at Twitch. Sure. Dude, we were it. talking about checkmate. If you mentioned the beads, I would have like I would have lost pool. <laughs> no, I didn't want to. I don't want to stray that far into memes. <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! I, my that's pie a whole analogy, bag. dude. Did, I had to really hold back when you said, like, I know you were, like, trying with all your might to get in the, uh, whatever, the Magnus Carlson or whatever <laughs> meme into there, and I was holding back with all my will to holding not say back laughter. Meme uh, <laughs> we've got, uh, Watts is on, we've got Ill Physics is on. Ill Physics. Let's... KJ Hovey. A lot of people in the chat are yeah, asking okay. for Ill Physics. I'm going to do Ill Physics. So uh, thanks, y'all, for joining us. We'll see you next time. Take care.